I don't blame him for anything. I think what he did was very brave. Does Josh Hawley represent Lexington, Missouri? Absolutely not. And I think that he followed his conscience on the deal and people are gonna be offended by that. Only thing I really know about him is that when it came time to go to Lexington High School, he opted to go to Kansas City to a private school. And then whenever he ran for office the first time, he put on a pair of blue jeans and a plaid shirt and said he was just a hometown country boy. Well, let me tell you something. He outgrew us when he was a freshman and we've outgrown him since he disgra disgraced Missourians with his activities in the Senate. In my opinion, he has done nothing but use Lexington as a prop for his political campaign. I think it's more about his political aspirations. And I think that he's pretty much wiped those out by what he just did. I think the, the things that Josh Hawley did was to finalize the, the election. I think some of the things that, um, that I see is he exercised his constitutional rights. He was one of the only people to stand up and say, hey, something wasn't right with this and something needs to be done to correct it, if not for this election, then for future elections. I mean, my, my support for Holly is still there, but yeah, Trump called people to come there for support, but, and Holly was seen giving them the, you know, the go ahead. The photo speaks for itself. He's giving solidarity with uh, crowds that um, turned into uh, an insurrection uh, and a domestic terrorist attack. I don't think they wanted them to storm the building. I mean, I think it was supposed to be a protest that got out of hand maybe, or. We're about 40 minutes from Kansas City and we are full of nothing but history. I think that's why we're so embarrassed of it because at the end of the day, it does tie back to where he came from. And when he claims Lexington is his hometown, it does rub off on us. I know he's from here, but how he's climbed the ladder, cozying up with Donald Trump and furthering the lie of stop the steal, that's a disgrace. He doesn't represent a Lexington citizen like myself. When Ike Skelton said he was a hometown boy, he was. I think we need to concentrate on healing our nation instead of dividing our nation. I would really like our politics to calm down. We've had so many people trying to divide everybody. I think it's time to bring people together instead of trying to divide everybody, my opinion. Because either they feel this way or they feel that way, and there's really not a middle ground. I can tell you one thing, if we ever put him back in Congress, it'll be shame on us, not shame on Josh Hawley for running again. I think he exercises rights and the people will speak the next time he runs to see if he's popular or not.